Kate Blanchett, Carol and Truth. Kate Winslet, Steve Jobs. Helen Mirren, Woman in Gold. And Trombo, Brie Larson, Room. Carrie Mulligan, Suffragette. Jane Fonda, Youth. Charlotte Rampling, 45 years. Jennifer Lawrence, Joy. I didn't want to be an, a, an asshole, you know. I yeah. didn't want to, you know, I wanted to be polite. We've got to stop being polite. Mm -hmm. I've always said the first, if I ever had children, which I don't, the first thing I'd teach a, child, a girl of mine is the word, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> the first Sorry, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite British, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, just to say, it's so, you, you can take a stance, it's good. And, and, and I've been too polite. I'd so identified with what you said, absolutely, of, of wanting to be charming, wanting to be nice, wanting to be... Yeah, it's, so, it's really know. commendable how you <clears throat> yeah. have taken your own situation and really <clears throat> been extremely articulate with it. I mean, hats off to you, Jen. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah. we spoke before this round table, and you were saying that you didn't like it. <laughs> I've just been really private. I don't mind being at home. I don't like big... I, I was kind of made for this life. I don't know if you guys feel that way. Like, I just... I like being home. I have all my same friends. I... When you say home, you mean Kentucky, or...? No, I don't know. A house, home wherever, home wherever I'm living. <laughs> a house. Um, I don't know, I am am private. I just don't really, mm. I don't really go out a lot. Several of you live <laughs> away <sounds> from <laughs> the epicenter of Hollywood. Is that easier or harder? Charlotte, you live in Paris. Yeah, living away from the epicenter. Yes. Has that hurt your career, or...? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like doing You know, you make choices. You make life choices. You know, if if Jennifer wants to sort of be private in her houses, I like to be private in mine. We all, we all, we all protect. We all, we can all protect our lives because if we mm. don't protect our, our our private lives, then we're not actually going to be able to get out there and do what we do, because as we've said before, yeah. we are so vulnerable out there. We need to be vulnerable. That is part of the game. That is the price we pay, and we go out and we do it. Mm -hmm. Whatever the consequences, we do it. So we have to have somewhere to come back mm -hmm. to, to be mm -hmm. safe, and to be literally just sort of go like that with, with <laughs> our kids. It's great if we can have our kids to do it. We, mm -hmm. they, bring us, they bring us the reality that we need, that we... And it, you have don't, you gotten you don't braver because be. you've been... You're, you're, have you always been as brave an actor as you as you have been lately? That's I don't a great think question. I'm particularly brave, Jane. Oh my God. Say, but I don't think I'm particularly brave. What, what is the brave actor? I think actress? being an actor is being brave, actually. You know, yeah, just what, getting what you out there and doing actress? what we what do is brave. What is brave for an actress? Is just putting yourself in a situation that is so vulnerable. I mean. When Kate was in, what's the name of the movie that you did in, with the Harvey? Holy she smoke. walks out, it's nighttime, and she walks out of this building stark naked and urinates on herself. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's <laughs> brave. <laughs> she likes to remind you. <laughs> was it real pee? No, it wasn't real. It, it wasn't real. How was <laughs> so if you were, look, not well, you can cut this out. If I can feel like I can fail, and continually fail, and there's no sense of judgment. Because I do think that's the awkward thing about it. I do. F I felt for so long that it was this awkward handshake. It was like, oh, okay, director, I will perform for you. And the director's like, okay, yes, and I will support that and also judge you at the monitor. But then as I got older, I went, oh, actually, that's just my dad issues talking. Hmm. This is actually more of a symbiotic relationship. And in fact, hmm. if I can't take these giant leaps, and I did it, I used to say it to Lenny on Room all the time. Anytime I had to do a big, huge scene, I'd be like, it's going to be bad. I just I felt the need too. to just yeah. be like, it's going to be bad. Yeah. I'll just like completely <laughs> blow it out of the water. It'll probably mm -hmm. be way too much, but at least I did it, and then I got the badness mm -hmm. out. It is... I did a lot of theatre when I was much younger, like until I was sort of 15, 16. <clears throat> and then when I, when I did a film when I was 17, I remember having to be helped a lot to just bring my energy back mm. into myself mm. because I wasn't used to not saying things really, really loudly. I wasn't used to not whispering like that, mm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to actually really whisper. Yeah. Mm. God, I couldn't believe that yeah, was such so a luxury so to great. me. And it still is such a luxury to yeah. be able mm. to do nothing and know that the nothing that you're doing, which is mm. so important in that moment of nothingness, mm. is actually going to be picked up by yeah. a camera. Mm. And that is different on, on, on stage. If you body. played yeah. your Steve Jobs role on stage, the film has a play-like quality. Mm. How would you play the role differently? Louder. <laughs>
I wonder if, you know, we, we take for granted that there's a certain way that one is meant to make a film. You start on day one and you finish on day 30 or whatever. It depends how much CGI there is. But <laughs> I wonder if you did shoot a bit, mm. rethink, go back. I wonder if there'd be more female directors. Because I, mm, I think a lot, of, a lot of women, you think, you know, with the pre-production, the shooting, the post-production and the endless amount of publicity, that's kind of two years of your life. Mm -hmm. And that I think a lot of women, particularly women with, with families, then think, how am I going to manage this? Male role you wish you could have played? No. Is there a role you wish you could have played that you didn't? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty I should have, but I, no, I don't think of that way very okay. much. I just, yeah. it's just a waste of time, I yeah. think. You know, everyone around this table makes such bold choices and that's something I'm always nervous that I'm passive and I've, mm. I'm so, so I take inspiration from every single person. Any one in the past? Marion Cotillard, I've always wanted oh. to. Mm. Always, but I, I also feel like I don't want to be on the same screen as her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Everything just feels so real yeah, and there's no, there's Great. nothing, she's not doing anything, mm. she's not acting. It's so, and I would feel like you could see through, you know, Jane, whatever it is.